you know, hours that you put in running routes this offseason? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> probably like, I'll probably start training at seven. Probably be finished like on the field at like 9.30, 10. So about three hours. About, yeah, when I work out Monday through Friday, so 15 hours a week. I did that math right? Yeah. Sounds like me. So about 15 <laughs> hours a week, just learning how to run routes, learning how to get my feet better, understanding like what I'm trying to do um, on certain routes and stuff like that. So about 15 hours a week. Did you understand the route running process before you got to the NFL, or, or how, how much did you have to fine tune? Oh, uh, I think as as you change levels, meaning like when I went from high school, like I didn't play receiver in, uh, in um, high school. And so then when I got to college, it was like, yeah, I played receiver, but and this you no know, disrespect to my receiver coach, but it wasn't like they weren't like really teaching us what it was like what it was to be a receiver. It was just this was like this is your route, run this route. So then when I got here, it was just like starting from scratch, and at that point, I just had to be a sponge and just learn everything I could. So um, yeah, it was. I think it was it was a lot for me, not be uh, a lot for me, not because of like my athleticism, but simply because I never really was taught how to play a receiver. Your so teammates always talk about you know your ability to get in and out of breaks, not really you know slowing down, being deceptive in terms of you know being able to get on top of people. It's because I'm something? short. They try to say it's because I'm short <laughs> and they're tall, so they can't. <laughs> nah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Sean talk about it all the time, like you got to be able to run fast and stop fast. So that was just something that I always had an emphasis on, being able to get in and out of my breaks. Is that something you always able to do? Because I mean you're naturally fast. Yeah, guy. I think so. I think so. So like, is it, is it the biggest area for growth for you then? Like just kind of like in the details and the nuance and just understanding more and more like as you as you play the position more? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, my athleticism, I think, is what kind of got me in the door. But um, understanding how to run the route was like my biggest, the biggest thing I had to improve on. Hey, Deontay, uh, Trevor said yesterday it was an adjustment for him thrown to you on deep passes because you're so much faster yeah. than the average player. Have you sensed that from other quarterbacks over your career that they don't realize how fast you are until they try and throw you a few balls? Uh, to be honest, sometimes I don't really be thinking I'm that fast. To be honest, I still don't think I'm that fast. I think I'm quicker, more quick than I am fast. So sometimes I still don't even be believing. But then when they put it up on the screen, like 20-something miles per hour, I'll be like, I nah, ain't no way. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I had Drew. I don't think it's really a problem for uh, uh, Jameis because he got a big arm. But probably for Drew, it's probably a big adjustment. What do you think's made you an effective deep threat, just like outside of speed? Like, what goes into becoming a receiver? Got the type of stress that you like that. Uh, I think I'm deceptive, so I can I can kind of like maneuver a certain way to get a DB to think I'm doing something that I'm not. So I think. Just being deceptive, uh, deceptive. Did you always? I mean, you said you didn't think of yourself as that fast. Um, at what point did you realize, hey, I can do this in the NFL? Like, I can be a be like a deep threat. I can stretch the field. I can yeah. Uh, DBs out their game. Uh, Ted really, Ted really was the one who was like me and him. Like that was that was my OG uh, when I got here. So you know, just just talking to him, picking his brain, and just listen to him uh, tell me everything that I could do and stuff like that. So uh, my rookie year, um, like towards the back end of my rookie year, Ted was really the one that was, you know, like really helping me understand like the, the sky's the limit really for me. And then, you know, just watching guys like the smaller guys in the receiver like Tyreek Hill, like trying to pick up on certain things they do and, you know, just try to uh, imitate the things that they do and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do you, do you feel like you could do more? Do you, do you want more targets? Do you, do you feel like you could... Yeah, for sure. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. I, I love this game. And like, for me, when I'm at practice, every practice rep is a game rep for me. And, you know, I, I picked up on that when I got here. So, um, in college, I was kind of, I'm not going to say lazy, but it was like I didn't really have nobody to, like, really, like, we wasn't, like, really, like, we was pushing each other because we were good, but it wasn't, like, what it is here. Like, the culture here is just different. And so, um, I just, so I want the ball as many times as possible. And that's just, I just believe in me and believe in my in my talent, and I just you know just want to help this team in every way possible.
Did you and Ted ever race? Nah. Who will win? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We might got lined up one day. How can you run that fast and not know you're fast and not feel like you're fast? Like, I, I feel be, like if I was moving that fast, I'd know. Like sometimes I, I, like I can feel it, but other times I just be feeling slow. Like I come back and be like, did I look slow? Like I be asking them like, did I look slow? And they be like, nah, you was moving. But I don't, so I don't know. I just can't feel it sometimes. I just be feeling sluggish sometimes. You don't see like the people around you like you're just blowing by them. Nah, nah, I be feeling like they on my hip. <laughs> I don't know. Were you always the fastest person like even growing up? I mean, like yeah, but I went, uh, so in high school, my I think it was my senior year, we played some prep school, I think it was prep school, and uh, Darnell Savage, he played for the Packers now. Um, I was running down the sideline, and he was, like, chasing me, and he was, like, way faster than me, so I was like, damn, I wonder what it's like to be like when I get to college. But all my life, I usually was the fastest. But you spun him around like a top in that game, didn't you? Well, I didn't say he was gonna tackle me. I just he just fast. <laughs> that had to be one of those moments where like. Uh, yeah, because he was com I I, he was uh, committed to Maryland at one point, and I think Maryland had came in and they saw me and was just like too. He's like they was like uh, I'm too small to play Division One football, so it was just like y'all got him committed, and so it was yeah. Nah, he was fast though. Do you think like knowing what you can do and how you um, can get away from defenders? Quickly, like, do you think teams struggle how to defend you in terms of like giving you too much cushion or not giving you enough or kind of figuring out? Uh, I know, like, just working out in the off season and like talking to DBs, they kind of hate like those shorter, faster guys because they just used to people that's five eleven or plus big bodies that they can get hands on. So I think it's a, a hard adjustment for them to have to cover somebody that's you know fast and short. Is that fun for you? Just like. Yeah, but sometimes they arms be too long, so it's like they might get me every once in a while and I can't get off, so I just be trying to keep as much separation as possible. Oh, I